It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max in our Wonderlands video, and today we've got a bunch of news to break down about the Sanctuary of Wonderlands, the new Challenge Obelisk, the speculated Rainbow Rarity, new Bartenders, and more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, guys, let's get right into it. So to start us off, Wonderlands has gone gold. This was announced yesterday. What going gold means is that the developer Gearbox is happy where the game is at currently and is ready to publish it. We still have a bunch of time before Wonderland ships. Maybe they'll start working on a day one patch. Maybe they're already working on DLC for the game. But the fact that it's gone gold means that we can expect it to launch on March 25th with not any like unexpected delays, hopefully. Next up, we've got some news about the speculated Rainbow Rarity. Now, in the most recent Wonderlands footage in the gameplay reveal trailer for the Graveborn and the Spore Warden, there were some enemies dropping items that looked like they had rainbow beams. Maybe a currency, maybe an item, but rainbow beams were very clearly visible. The official Twitter account, after seeing a lot of speculation about it possibly being a new rarity, has tweeted out that they're not tied to gear rarity at all. For example, rainbow rarity, but they are about something else. Uh, they said that they'll share at a later date. At this point, I'm assuming it's like this game's version of Iridium or a currency. In all of the gameplay footage that we've seen, I don't think I've seen a single bar of Iridium pop out. And it does kind of look like of the images of the Rainbow Rarity that maybe there was different sizes indicating like maybe chunks of four or, or one at a time. They could also be tied to the new Challenge ob Obelisk uh, that got mentioned today. Uh, we'll get into more of that in a second. But confirmed, those Rainbow Beams are not tied to a new Rarity. At this point, I'm not expecting a new Rarity to be in the game at base game on the site. They have the, all the legendaries or all the uh, rarities listed and it only goes to orange, but it would be very cool just like how Borderlands 1 did and just like how Borderlands 2 did if DLCs added a new rarity of gear to go chase after. Next up, we've got some more news from IGN. Now IGN has their IGN first month covering Wonderlands and today they put out a new article about what is going to be the player hub or the sanctuary equivalent in Wonderlands. Now, this sanctuary equivalent is going to be called Izzy's Fizzies. And this is the new player hub. Izzy's Fizzies is a strictly non-alcoholic soda bar. Tiny Teens Wonderlands is rated T for Teen, where all the other Borderlands games in the series have been rated M. And so I doubt that they'll be serving alcohol in this T-rated game, and hence the non-alcoholic soda bar run by Izzy, who is the new shopkeep. Izzy has a warm and inviting personality punctuated by her soft, quasi Minnesotan accent. It's meant to evoke friendliness, but also serve as an in-game gag. According to senior writer Sam Wrinkler, Tina's just running out of accents for the non-playable characters in her Bunkers and Badasses campaign. This new player hub is going to have a bunch of side quests, places to hang out, um, different activities and will also be kind of changing with the player as they play the game for example they note if you go out and hunt like a crazy looking monster maybe you'll find its head up on a plaque uh, like on one of the walls for example we also learn a little bit more about how quests are going to work in this game so there's plot quests which are your story quests there's major quests and then there's side quests and the article reads Plot quests are pretty obvious, they advance the plot. Major quests are substantial, but exist outside the plot line, and side quests are side quests triggered when you find wanted posters within the world of Wonderlands. I'm assuming this works similar to how Borderlands 3's wanted posters work. So the side quests will be like the hunts, basically. Major quests will be like actual dialogue and more plots. And in addition to this, there's something outside of all of those, which is the ancient obelisk. And this is what I was re referencing before. The ancient obelisk lives within the tavern. It's going to be there. And it unlocks challenges for you to undertake that are strictly outside the quest structure. Now, they don't say anything more about the obelisk. But I think it's very interesting that it's going to have challenges in it. We haven't really had, like, challenges per se. Part of me wants to think that this might be our first hint at what the end game is going to be. Maybe challenges could be something like the peak. Maybe challenges are 
random uh like slaughter shafts for example and maybe you could earn hero points by doing them maybe the rainbow currency that drops from enemies you have to use to open the obelisk to do these challenges uh we really just don't know anything about it besides that there is going to be an obelisk and there's going to be challenges associated with it i'm curious to what you guys think really uh not too much to go off on in this but i hope we learn more in the future Guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this little news briefing on all things Wonderland. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'll be probably doing a lot more of these type of videos covering all the news that's leading up to Wonderland's launch. Also, side note, I usually put out a vendor video today. I can't find it. I've been looking for two and a half hours. So if any of you see the vending machine in Borderlands 3, please leave me a comment because I am... I, I'm, I'm lost. I can't find it. This is the first time I found it every week, but this week I just can't find it. So if you guys, if you can see, if you see it, let me know. It would be hugely appreciated. I will catch y'all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace. I was